Okay, hi everyone. My name is Zairo. Um, I'm in my. I just commenced my third year of my PhD, and I'm from Malaysia. And um, uh, the panels, my supervisor, lecturer, professor, and my fellow friends. Today, I'm going to present uh, my t research title: simultaneous modeling and clustering of visual field data. So myself, Dr. Stephen Swift, my supervisor, and my second supervisor, Alan Tucker. Okay, this is my uh, presentation outlined. Uh, first, I'll talk about introduction and research motivation. S a little bit background about my research, methodology that I use for my research, results, findings, conclusion and future research, and lastly, on the references. So what is simultaneous modeling and what is visual field data? So visual field data is used in glaucoma disease management. Earlier on, we have uh, we, we listened to someone talking about glaucoma. And glaucoma is the second leading cause to blindness disease in the world. And application of, application of machine, learning machine learning techniques, that is classification and clustering to visual field data, which is a big data. So I want to find something, a pattern, a unique pattern in the data so that we can infer some rules or we can find some new knowledge about glaucoma disease using this data by using classification and clustering method. And we, I, I also want, want to predict glaucoma deterioration by using the data so we can uh, predict for the next visit of our patient when they, before, they, we, before they do the, uh, the test, we can predict that the patient will get what stage of the disease next. And with my findings or my result, I would also to, to add uh, some information or some knowledge to the physician or ophthalmologist to provide an appropriate treatment to patients. So this is research motivation. Uh, first, um, the research motivation is twofold. is to improve the tri uh, treatment to glaucoma patients, which is to find the significant uh, optic nerve fiber bundles. So basically, in our eyes, in our retina optic nerve, we have about a million, a million nerves. So we want to find the best cluster of nerve, and we can, we can use these kind of bundles for predictions or uh, using the visual data. And we also want to find um, correlation between visual field points. Later on, I will explain to you uh, what is visual field point. And the second, the second motivation is, which is contribute in computation-based computation medical system area. That is, I'm proposing a new method that is simultaneous modeling and clustering. Because normally when we, when we do clustering to data, we use distance of data like k-min, k-median. But now I'm proposing using model base to cluster the data. And I also want to improve glaucoma glaucoma deterioration predictions. So this is background. Uh, I have, I, I'm using classification, clustering, optimization, uh, optimization search that is simul uh, similar to annealing, hill climbing. And this is uh, SMC, simultaneous modeling and clustering. <coughs> I cluster the data based on model accuracy. And visual field data, it has, I'm using data which has 54 variables uh, is considered big data <coughs> and we want to learn about the six um, the, the, the difference between the six optic fiber bundles and the result uh, given by our by my research <coughs> so this is visual field data basically we have 54 variables and these are the points that uh, we collect um, from patients when they have uh, undergone uh, the visual field test. So each of the location, is, <coughs> it has n some numerical information to indicate sensitivity of uh, patient's uh, vision. So in, in not partic particular order, we have, pr in practical, we use six bundles from this 50, 54. <coughs> so basically, we, we cluster this location, become one bundle, and when, when we average it, and this, these are the, four, uh, the six bundles that we have for right eyes. Right eyes. <coughs> and this uh, point 26 and 25 are the blind spot. 
And next is on the edges, <coughs> which is advanced glaucoma intervention studies. So in my study, uh, I use these edges as the target variables to predict or to, to be classified. So basically, we have uh, f from these 54 points, we derive some calculation to get the edges score. So <coughs> we classify this is edges uh, category. We have about one, two, three, four, five stages. But for my study, I I shorten it uh, become three classes uh, according to this. Okay, never mind. According to that um, paper, so. What I want to do is that I classify the T plus one edges, which is the next, the next result, uh, the, the next uh, category of the disease, as a prediction of det uh, glaucoma deterioration. And for my study, I use about uh, we we retrieve the data from uh, Morfield Eye London, which is consists of thirteen thousand records, which is about one hundred fifty and one thousand five hundred eighty patients. So this is the methodology. Uh, basically, I use classifier, three, uh, three J48 classifier, naive base, multinomial, uh, multinomial naive base. Uh, I have certain reason why I, used, I chose this classifier because uh, three J, J48 is a very simple uh, classifier. A naive base is due to its uh, high accuracy. Multinomial naive base because it's quite efficient uh, classifier. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm choosing these three classifiers. And for the search method, I use hill climbing because it's quite simple search method. I also use random restart hill climbing is to support hill climbing because I can, I, because to avoid the local minimum, uh, the, uh, yeah, the, the, the solution that we want to find. And the best one is simultaneous uh, simulated annealing method. An experiment will run for 10,000 iterations. And for cluster arrangement uh, agreement, I use weighted capacitors to, to evaluate my cluster after I get the result from these two methods. And I, I also use the, the normal approximation for the binary approximation of the hypergeometric distribution metric that is NBH to, to get the best cluster and we map this, the best the, the cluster on the visual field map. So this is the strategy I use to, to, do, my, to do my modeling. I have raw data 13,000. 13, uh, basically I have to split it uh, all data and sample data. And all data I have twelve thousand, and I, s I pass it to the pass to the experiment for modeling, and I use sample data, data which is one uh, fifteen hundred, and I pass to to do modeling. So this is actually schematic diagram of uh, simultaneous modeling plan and clustering process. So I have raw data, I uh, data pre-processing get initial random bundle i have to good uh, i have to get the random bundle first first and this is uh, the initial uh, solution to see the accuracy of the modeling then prepare the new um, data set with the, with the bundle this is where iteration works which is one uh, ten thousand iteration it runs and i model the data for uh, using tenfold co uh, tenfold cross validation and I obtain the accuracy, which is the fitness function, and I check the fitness function, which is which uh, if is it improved, then I get the, the bundle, which is the clustered data. If it's not improved, I leave that uh, bundle. I get the existing one, and it keep iterates to find the best bundle in in order to, um, to improve the accuracy, which is the model. And this is results and finding. So how to validate my result, which is I have the benchmark of my study. I use the six visual field bundles. So this, this is actually the um, initial experiments without finding the best cluster, but I use this, the, the current practice, we use the six bundles, which is uh, by this, uh, using this classifier, I, I can predict about 86% accurate of the, the stage of glaucoma. 
uh, with this 85% and with this classified uh, multinomial naive base, 76%. And I also analyze it, uh, this is the benchmark, this, this one, versus my accuracy, which is using the SMC, simultaneous modeling and clustering data uh, method. And for the, for the, for the bundle, I, I would say uh, the cluster of the data, I use weighted kappa to see the agreement between um, the six bundle and the SMC bundles. And after that, I, vis I visualize from the six bundles, I, vi I visualize it to, to the results that I get. And I only see the pattern from it. So this is the best result, uh, predict predictive accuracy. Um, this is I was I put I should put six bundle here. So this is the result for six bundles, improved by one point three five percent for J forty eight, which is this is the best result uh, coming from sample data using method uh, hill climbing method, okay, and for knife base it improved uh, three percent, it's quite good eighty eight percent eighty eight point five percent. With 12 cluster, this is six cluster, this is 12 cluster, coming from sample data using similar to annealing. And it's quite good because I can improve, improve it nearly 89% uh, or I, I would try to get 90% prediction. And this is for multinomial base, naive base, improved by 9%. It's quite good, but as I said, um, multinomial knife base is not that good in uh, accuracy, but it's very efficient, it's very fast um, classifier. By coming from old data experiment using simulator handling method. So I'll get one uh, convergence graph from knife base, uh, which is coming from simulator handling method. So this is how uh, the search was done by this method. So basically, it started from here, and it started converge up to this point, and it, it couldn't find the, bet the better result after that. So it's uh, about one, uh, 10,000 iteration. Okay? And about weighted kappa statistic, um, the six bundle versus SMC bundles is very, very poor, which is, um, you know, the minimum I get is a negative uh, 0 0.0.5, 0 0.0.54. Uh, the maximum I get for the old data is very, very poor, 0 0.08, both uh, for old data and sample dat data. And we, I, could, I could conclude that there's no correlation between uh, the six bundles and the bundles that I got from SMC uh, method. And this is how I visualize uh, the final um, cluster or bundles from the method. And I chose, um, there is, uh, I chose this uh, bundle based on the NBH matrix. And we found that uh, the larger cluster appear on the periphery of the visions, which agree with medical evidence, that glaucoma normally start Glaucoma normally start in here, around here, which is this is the blind spot, and also the periphery of the uh, the, the visual field that is number fifteen, cluster fifty C is on the periphery, and fourteen, this one, if I okay, yeah, I cannot see here, and at four as well, yeah, this four as well. And bundle number ten is appear to is very quite close to the uh, blind spot, so we we could we could know that this point is uh, can give some information to physicians and or, or ophthalmologists. Okay. So for conclusion, uh, I I can conclude that uh, our method is very very significant to improve glaucoma test deterioration prediction because it improved quite a lot. Uh, it's, I, it's not 10%, but it's 10% for uh, multinomial, but the, the best I got about 89% uh, prediction. 
And we found that the method uh, proposed mostly more than 10 cluster, which is compared to the, uh, to the six bundle that commonly, commonly use. And there is no significant between the six bundle and SMC bundles as far as the weighted kappa, kappa score is concerned. And based on, our res based, based on my, my results, I feel like I could improve the prediction by these three. That is uh, first data to arrange patient, uh, patient record according to number of visual field tests. And I could also to, imp uh, to improve the efficiency of the search by, s by doing the seeding to the algorithm using the visual field bundles, which is the six bundles. Because earlier on, I said I used the random. But for the future research, I could, I could use the seeding, which is use the six bundles. And I would like to extend my research to, to use quite popular uh, method that is generalized simulator annealing. And probably I could extend the number of iteration for, for the existing experiments. That's all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.